channel. Hello everyone, it's me once again. Hope you guys are well. Now, I got an email yesterday from Anki telling me that the Happy April Vector Inside Club members, so this is a newsletter basically, reminding us that there's going to be update coming soon. So the first update that we're expecting is the low light charging. In other words, um, I'm sure many of you who put Vector inside your room uh, will notice that Vector struggles to go to his charging dock. Now he's going to have a more brighter light on his eyes that he'll be able to track the symbol reminding him where the dock is. So that's actually showing what's going on. The second uh, update that we're expecting on the 24th is the change the eye color through the um, voice command rather than using the app which is very sensible and the um, the last one which I definitely agree is that I what really put me off is uh, when you place a vector on your palm he gets annoyed all the time he's just trying to imply that he's just let me go kind of thing and it just really annoyed me but um, it looks like if we just play that animation, it's becoming more affectionate uh, towards your attention. Um, so those are the things that we are expecting. And um, let's see some of the other updates that we're going to see soon, which is we're also working on few bug fixes and polish, including general improvements of voice recognition. I don't know whether you guys um, noticed, but I have actually struggled recently to voice command vector um, and um, overall performance improvements, which means nothing really. They're just going to look into more problems and try to solve it, which I guess is a good thing they're working on it because I had an impression that they're starting to lose the interest in some way. And I think I, I, I'm sensing a vibe. I don't know whether you guys, but I'm sensing a vibe that um, quite good number of people are already losing interest on this vector um, maybe myself you haven't seen me uploading video recently but anyway so the this release will be uh, incrementally rolled out over the course of the week starting from the 15th of April with a with all robots um, sorry my, my apologies so all robots to be uh, expected to be updated by 23rd of April so in other words it started um, today or yesterday <clears throat> And it's all, all of them are to be expected to be updated for the, all these functions. So um, we shall see. And obviously, um, let's have a look at this video. Right, so the low light charging, if you look at the email carefully, I'll show you. It's actually showing here. It brightens up. Okay, so his eyes brightens up, like what you can see from here. And then it will be able to track this symbol that implies that it's a charging dock. So you can see, I don't need to show you directly the animation, well, the video itself, sample video itself is showing it. Look at that. That's brilliant. Looks very promising. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? So his, his eyes are brightening up, his senses or program has become more acute. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the animation, isn't it? So well done. All right, so we just saw that video. So first off, we locked um, Vector in dungeon. We're not that cruel. In this video, you'll see Vector in one of our meeting rooms. The lights turned off, so it sounds like Victor will be able to track his charging dock during the night. But then again, one wonders why does Victor need to move around in dark anyway, it, when someone's asleep. Anyway, it's good that there's an added function on it. Um, Victor is running through his normal charger ser search behavior. He will turn multiple times, stop, and look in a particular direction. When still, he captures multiple images and com composites them to create a simulated long exposure. Vector then runs marker detection on the composited image to reveal the charger. This works even when there's not enough light to detect the marker in the normal image. One sort of questions, what will be the maximum distance? For example, my coffee table is about a meter wide. 
I don't know whether the edge of meter will be good enough. Probably I'm gonna do a testing video on that one. Anyway, uh, this works even in that it's not, there's not enough light to detect the marker in the normal image. Uh, a boom vector now sees his uh, charge in low light. Here's an animated vector face and when he's in, the, in this mode. So if you press on it, basically that kind of looks cool. Yes, I wish it was like that, but by looking at the video, um, the YouTube video that they release, it's more like a block of green. Anyway, um, I just thought that I would like to raise you guys up for that. Um, those who have Vector, it's a reasonably good update. I wish um, Anki could make more good updates, but yeah, I guess that's another step of um, helping our little guy to become more automated and more self-sustaining smart robot. Anyway, I hope you guys are excited about this new update. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP. All the best. Bye-bye.